Okay. Who wants to get started? <laughs> um, well, I was wondering, we were talking, kind of, how, how did you sustain your faith throughout the whole ordeal? I mean, I can't imagine, like, ever going through something like that. The faith, uh, after genocide, after something that is horrible, sometimes the, the, the faith is, doesn't have a meaning anymore. I mean, you, you are angry. I was angry at God. I was angry at the church. I was angry at my faith. Why did I believe in that? What did it meant? Is it, uh, does it have a meaning anymore? Is it uh, meaningful anymore to love each other? What does it mean? Does it have sense anymore? Uh, what is, does it mean to give up the your entire uh, thing for somebody else if they do not care anymore? Does someone care for each other? Does sharing mean something anymore? So all of the values, the moral values are just down or the, uh, everything you have uh, believed in, trying to construct is destroyed. And I was wondering what is it meaning, uh, does it mean to to have faith, to believe in uh, God? Where was God when uh, everything happened? When there was uh, uh, reading all the books and uh, does it mean anything? So, in the beginning, I was questioning God, questioning my faith, questioning myself. And uh, questioning all the studies I've done in, uh, in the seminaries, in the religious classes, in high school, here and there, everything had lost their sense. So I have to, to found where I was standing, standing myself. After genocide, uh, when I was looking for my family, when I was looking for uh, someone I could befriend, uh, or, something I could do, I found uh, people who were doing something to help others, others they didn't know before, others they, who were not uh, they, uh, the family, the member families, others who were just others uh, suffering, the widows and the orphans especially. The three persons I was looking at them and wondering, they are doing something beyond the self, beyond my understanding. And because they were visiting also the place where I came from, I was going with them. And I saw the, the, the priest who was with them and the psychologist who was there, they were sitting in a dark room listening to stories the entire day and going home with a broken heart for listening to those stories and going back tomorrow and trying to give uh, a, a word of hope to the people who are telling those stories. Then I began to understand that there is something beyond my questioning, my answer. And I uh, began to think of God again uh, when uh, I think of the cross, what the cross is Jesus hanging on the cross, dying. Why did uh, he have to die? Maybe it is a way to tell us that God didn't abandon those who were suffering. He was with those who were suffering. And I began to look at the killings in Rwanda. The killings were not God telling people, go to kill these ones. He was not give, telling Hutu, I do not like those Tutsis, go kill them. But God tells everyone to choose life or death, evil, I mean, good. And uh, so if it, he tells that there is a way of good, doing good, being a good person, you have life. You get happiness, you get harmony, you live together. But if you choose evil, you choose death, you choose ignoring me, you are, you, you, you. I, mean, I, so I saw at the cross as Jesus being abandoned. I saw at the genocide 
as people who chose to ignore God, to abandon God, to tell him, go away. I don't, uh, choosing evil, just answering to evil command. So for me, faith was that you choose God and you choose to do the good he is telling you and you choose to give up your security, your comfort for the, uh, the sake of others, especially those in need. And uh, the three people I saw were my mothers, my symbols, looking at them. They were survivors of genocide like me, but they didn't lose, waste their time asking God where he was. They joined those who were abandoned, who were suffering. And it gave me another meaning, another understanding of what it is to choose good and help those who need good, to, 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 to help others. So my uh, reconnection with God became back, came back little by little, understanding that God didn't choose to abandon me. God didn't choose uh, to, to, to kill my people. Those who ignored the God killed my people. Maybe God is hanging on the cross with those who are dying. Maybe God is with those survivors who have physical handicaps or trauma. And it is with them that I'm going to find my faith. So my faith was strengthened somehow. Because what I was believing in before was just, OK, I was baptized, I go to mass, I go to the seminary, I got to learn the priest, and I'm going to preach, God loves you. But now I understand, I understood the meaning of love in the middle of those who are suffering and who need more the attention of other ones. Does it make sense? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>